Hello, I'm Stephen Horn from Caves and Compressors. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk to you about isentropic efficiency. Isentropic efficiency is essentially the ratio between your theoretical isentropic power and that of a real power. Um, so in order to calculate isentropic efficiency, you need to know your ambient conditions, ambient pressure, ambient temperature, the flow rate of the machine in question, as well as the operating pressure. And from that, you can derive your isentropic power. In this case right here, uh, plant has been around for a couple years and these machines have been running for several years reliably. They are multi-phase centrifugals. Um, the machines behind us, as you can see, we did an, uh, a data analysis on them and from that we determined that the isentropic efficiency of these machines is about 40%. If we take a look down a little bit further, we'll come to a newer technology known as a rotary screw blower. The rotary screw blower on these same conditions has an isentropic efficiency of 70%. So that's a rather dramatic uh, increase between the two. Now, isentropic efficiency has come to be a popular metric thanks to efforts of PTC-13 as well as uh, BL-300 from KGI. The efforts here are determined to have a metric which you can compare two technologies like we have here, a rotary screw blower and then that of the multi-stage centrifugal behind us. So the isentropic efficiency is intended to be able to compare the two and we can see here that 170%, 140% that is a nice difference. So from the isentropic efficiency, you can derive the input power from each machine. Um, but another way you can do is a different metric called specific performance, which is kilowatt per 100 CFM. Take a look at our multi-stage unit back here at 600 CFM. The kilowatt per 100 CFM for this unit is about five. And then for the rotary screw blower behind me, it's about three. So again, at 600 CFM and at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, the annual operating cost of that multi-stage is about $30,000, and for that, for the screw blower, it comes down to about $16,000. So from this difference, we can then determine, okay, is the investment worth the, um, the purchase price of the machine, um, or other aspects you might want to consider before you make the purchase. Now, these machines have been around for many years, so they're due for replacement, so it was a pretty easy decision for this plant. So with that, we can see a nice comparison between these two machines, how isentropic efficiency uh, we can use to compare two models of comprising uh, technologies. We also talked about kilowatt per 100 CFM, which is kind of like your miles per gallon for calculating utility cost. Um, so if you have a similar situation to this at your plant, you'd be interested in how we can help out, uh, please let us know. We would love to uh, join in you with that discussion.